and if uh, you have PSP Go, this is what you need. But since we have a PSP 1000 for this video, this is uh, what we're going to download. For the custom firmware, just uh, I can open the link and it will take us to the file itself. Let us now open the folder where we saved these two files. Then we have uh, to extract them within the same folder. Let us then create a new folder and name it update all capitalized. Then uh, place the eboot file inside the update folder. Cut or copy the update folder, then the game folder, and here we are going to paste the update folder. So we should see these four folders inside the game folder. It's now ready to transfer these two files in the root of our PSP. We'll now have uh, to connect our PSP to our PC using the USB cable. Then just drag and drop these two folders on the root of our PSP. After the transfer, go to the game section and run PSP update 6.16. From here, just follow the whole process to update your PSP. And this will definitely take some time so make sure your PSP have enough power to complete the update or it will definitely break your PSP. On this part, it is uh, very advisable to have uh, the power plugged into your PSP to make sure you won't have uh, any issues with uh, the power. After the update, your PSP will start and we can now install the CFW. Just go back to the game section and run the pro update. Just press X to install CFW and wait for the magic to complete. Then you'll have your PSP on CFW. Go ahead and check on the system settings to double check your firmware. From here you have now jailbroken and installed CFW on your PSP. You may now be able to download ISO and CSO and play PS1 games and other emulators on your PSP.